Hey everybody, welcome to this fifth video in the series on how to use Pixlr E. In this video, we're gonna be learning about the tool called the Marquee Select tool. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna create a new blank canvas to start out with. I'm just gonna keep it untitled, keep it as a transparent background and click create. And now I wanna bring an image in um, that I'm just gonna find on Google. So let me just look for a picture of an apple. <laughs> if I could type correctly. Thankfully, Google knows what I mean. Okay, and let me, this looks like a good picture of an apple. So I'm going to copy, or I'm gonna, let me save image as, I'm gonna save this image. You can do the same thing as well, save it. And then I'll bring it in as, an, as a new layer here. Here's my apple. Okay, so I, I have an image layer here, um, and now I'm going to be using this uh, Marquee Select tool. So just go over here and click on the little dashed square to get to Marquee Select. And you're going to notice you get a couple of options up here. You can choose the shape that the selection area will take. So first of all, rectangle. If I click and hold my mouse and I drag it, you'll see I get the that... Um, rectangular square. And then when I let go, it's going to give me the, the little dashes around the square are going to start moving. And some people call these the dancing ants, like they're going around, they look like a bunch of ants going around. And that just is telling me what is the actively selected area. So I have this area of my apple actively selected. And if I were to hit like delete or backspace, for example, it's going to actually edit just that area or delete just that area. I'm going to undo that for a second. And when you have an area actively selected, like you have these dancing ants, if you hit control D, uh, it will deselect that area. You have to have um, your mouse actively in this screen, though. If you hit control D when you're out here, it'll actually try and bookmark your page. Um, so there's that. Here's the, the ellipse. Let's say I wanted to cut out my apple in sort of a circle shape. I could do that here, and now I'm getting the dancing ants around my apple, and I could clear it out like that. Um, another cool thing that you can do here is you can change um, your mode of selection. So right now I have my actively selected area, my dancing ants are in this circle right here, but let's say I wanted to get more of the apple into my selection. I can go here to add to selection. And when I do that, it's actually going to keep my active selection. And now I can, let's say I wanted the stem in there, I can select, and now it's going to add that stem into my actively selected area, which is pretty cool. So I'm clicking on add to selection. I'm adding this. Okay, it's still on add to selection. Add this, and you can just sort of keep on adding. till you get all the parts that you want to select, which is pretty cool. Okay, almost got all the parts that I wanna select here. And now you can see I have selected all of the areas that I want to, and I could cut that out if I wanted to. Um, there's also a way, like let's say if I have this whole thing selected, but I want to, um, remove part of the selection. Let's say I wanted to select this whole apple, but I wanted to leave a little part in the middle here. I can actually click this, and now it's going to exclude that part. So you can see here how it left it behind. Um, feather here um, controls how, um, when you apply a change, like you delete part, if it's a sharp line or if it sort of fades in. So for example, if I, ch if I turn the feather up to you know 84, and now I hit delete, down here, whoops, I might have to do the feather first. Feather up to 83, now I'm gonna make my selection and hit delete. And now you can see when I hit delete, let me deselect, um, you can see that it sort of fades into my selection. It makes, it makes my selection a lot softer. You can mess around with your marquee selection tool and uh, just figure out all the different ways that you can use with the selection mode to help you be able to select just the important parts that you want to for your project. 